Hey guys, how we doing? So I just checked the latest analytics for the last video I posted. The um, <clears throat> Peacemaker Funko. 23 views, well that's crazy. Um, that's mad because I normally get views for like Comic Con videos that I do. But um, that's a lot of views guys, I really appreciate that. Here's a mess. So this next pop figure I got from Forbidden Planet. <clears throat> on the day of Manchester Comic Con. Um, it was first come first serve for these ones. And they were flying off the shelf really quick. I got it for 20 quid. But um, it was... They only had a limited, limited stock in. And I was lucky enough to manage to get one. Because I went down before it opened. But the queue was all the way around the back. The queue was absolutely crazy for... Forbidden Planet that day, so it is uh, this one. Um, I have had a Sonic one before, but this one is just a lot better. It's uh, Glow in the Dark Funko Summer Convention Limited Edition, so I think that's San Diego Comic Con. So I was lucky enough to get this one um, because the queue was massive. Um, it took me an hour to get in because um, I went to see the queue originally. And um, I was just like, no, I'm not standing in this. But um, yeah, um, so I managed to get in and they had like five of these left. I'm pretty sure they had about five left. But I was lucky enough to get this, to be honest. And I don't want to get it out of the box because it is, it is a good one. <coughs> Bit of a sore throat going on, guys. But um, I keep, tend to keep the good ones in their pop protectors. Shout out to PP Joe Pop Protectors for these pop protectors. <laughs> so if you guys uh, need anything to keep your Funko safe or NECA figure safe, DVD safe, I think it does pop protectors for like, almost everything. So ppjoe.com and use code it's Funko 15 and you get 15% off. And um, I'll put all the links in afterwards, guys. Um, <clears throat> put a bit of a sore throat going on, guys. Give me a minute. This video isn't sponsored by Monster, I'm afraid. Because Monster won't sponsor me. I guess you have to have like, I don't want like 20,000 subscribers or 20 million to be sponsored by Monster. So, unfortunately I can't add the Monster can in my link. But it's okay, um, they know I drink it. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, went, I did have a UV torch, but I don't know where it is. I could show you the glow on it. Um, well, I've watched both films, one and two. Um, I have to say the first one was better than the second one. Because the second one, I just felt like it was rushed. Maybe they were on a time scale, I don't know. But it just felt rushed to me. They crammed too much into the second film. It was okay. It was good seeing Knuckles and Tails. Jim Carrey. Is just a legend, so he has a lot of Jim Carrey. So, um, yeah, and uh, I think uh, Sonic is voiced by Ben Schwartz, and Tails is voiced by Colleen O'Shaughnessy, and then Idris Elba. If you've ever seen a movie, he's the black guy in every movie. I'm not racist, I'm just saying, if you've ever seen a movie, he's Idris Elba's the black guy in every movie. But he's a good actor, Idris Elba. Um, I wonder if they'll do a Heimdall solo movie but I don't know well oh, he's got a son in the new Thor movie um so maybe they'll carry on from his son or something I don't know but uh Four for Love and Thunder was just awful going a bit off topic here guys the film was just awful Takai really ruined it they put too much comedy in it from the seriousness of Four from Avengers Infinity War <laughs> leading up to for Love and Thunder, you know, it's a big step, and I think 4 is more kind of serious warrior, more than the comedy horror warrior, sorry, I'm going off topic here, I know what I'm saying, but I just think Love and Thunder was just a waste of time and money, um, there was too much comedy in it, and I didn't like it at all, um, but people liked it, I don't, it's just, just what I think, um, I just think Thor needs to be the more serious kind of warrior rather than comedy. But anywho, back to this. Um, 
Supersonic first appearance. This is obviously this was in the first movie. But because he hasn't done this in a game. So it's obviously the movie this one is from. Summer Convention, I think that San Diego 2022. But I was lucky enough to grab this. There was only five left on the shelf and I had to get it. So yeah, um, so lucky I picked this up from Forbidden Planet Manchester. Um, I don't have a lot of gaming um, Funkos. Um, I think it's just this one, Mickey Mouse, Batman. I think that's the only game of ones that I have, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, just just a quick video, guys. I don't wanna like take hours talking about a pop figure and forgetting what I say because most YouTubers to get their views and gains, they just talk utter rubbish. They go on and on and then you just lose focus halfway through. So I'm not gonna be like that. I'm not gonna go on and on and on just to get the views racked up. But um, I'm back on YouTube now. I was away for a while. Next Comic Con is Liverpool in November. Um, trying to think who's going. Um, you got Lucas Grabeel from High School Musical. Um, don't know if there's any High School Musical fans out there. Um, you got uh, Stranger Things, but like it's not who you expect it to be. Um, lineup isn't great at the moment, but Liverpool normally has a really good lineup. I went to Liverpool a couple of months ago. I got this. I will show you guys quickly. I've got two things from Liverpool. First, COA signed by Eric Stewart, who voiced James in the 90s Pokemon show. There's a COA to prove it. This was uh, 30 quid. Worth every penny. Sorry, I've got a hair in it at the moment, guys. I think my cat has been near my print. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, this cost me 30 quid. Got the COA to prove it. I have another one from the same company, but it doesn't have COA, but I know it's legit and real because I saw photos of the person hand signing it. So I might do this in a separate video. So I have another one is a signed print by the woman who plays the nun in the nun franchise, Conjuring franchise. So kind of the same franchise. So, so yeah, Supersonic, what do you think of Supersonic? Gotta go fast. Man, this video resolution is awesome. I've got the iPhone 13 and this video resolution is just amazing. Like, the detail in the camera is just unbelievable. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, um, I'll do good for when I uh, record at Comic-Cons now, so. So, yeah, what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments, guys. Please like, subscribe, all my links will be in the comments. Um, everything that I've talked about. So, what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Of course I like it. Sorry, I was taking a photo from a thumbnail. Uh, because I can't be bothered making one. I might make one, but... I've got a few phone calls to get through the next couple of hours, so... I'll be uploading most of the day till f about 3 o'clock. So, I'll probably do Iron Bob... Batman Forever and maybe Creep Show, I'm not too sure yet. But um Awesome, right guys? I always put my good fun calls in prop protectors and um I always collect stickers. I don't think I've got one up there that hasn't got a sticker. Actually, the Batman Forever hasn't got a sticker. I originally had the Batman Teal Chrome SDCC. And I don't know why I sold that because it was a good fun call and the price. There's no price for this yet on the Funko app. Does anybody know the price of this? Because I've checked the Funko app. I've had this about a couple of months, about two months, and there's still no price for it. So, thanks for watching, guys. It's Funko on the score time here. Like, subscribe, comment. You don't have to, but I don't have all the gadgets and the PC set up and everything. This is all filmed on an iPhone 13, but I just think it's just as good as any other camera on the earth. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.